Hey, what is up, Obscure Mike people? It is Bark back at you again with another video. And today we're going to be checking out the F Deuce podcast microphone SL40 USB XLR dynamic podcast broadcast microphone. This is a new release on Amazon. It is $99 with a $30 off coupon, making it $69 bucks if you go grab it on Amazon right now with the affiliate link down below. For all intents and purposes, F Deuce did send me this microphone for my review. They're not paying me to do anything with it. They just sent me the mic and wanted me to show it to you. I do get to keep it, but they're not paying me, so the opinions are all my own. Let's take a look at the unboxing video real quick, and then we'll talk more about the microphone. All right, so let's take a look at the F Deuce SL40 with some voiceover on the Samson Q2U for comparison. We open up the box. Got some specs on the back too we can take a look at. All right, so opening up the box, first thing you're going to see is some documentation. SL40 podcast microphone. I'm going to get a USB A to C with a C to C adapter. That's a that's a nice touch right there. Going to get a XLR cord. It's always a nice touch. One of your standard XLR cords. These aren't terrible. They're fine. Decent cords. And of course, we're going to get the microphone. Looks like we got a 5.8 stand adapter there. And we're going to get the microphone, the F Deuce. F Deuce podcast microphone. On the back, you've got XLR, USB, and a headphone jack. Yoke mounts metal. Body's metal. Almost looks like a bunk cake pan. Got a windscreen here. Take that off and it reveals a very SM or an MV7-like setup. You've got, uh, let's spin that around. You've got minus up and down for your headphone volume and gain. You hold in the mute button to switch between headphone and microphone. Let's plug this in so you can see that. All right, so... Got the uh, mute button, and then it's on headphone now. If we hold and press that, it switches over to microphone gain. So you can toggle headphone volume, microphone volume, toggle back and forth by holding that. Let's also take a look at the capsule. That comes off really easy. And underneath, we got us a nice yellow dynamic microphone capsule. Overall, a really good build quality from F Deuce. And, uh, Let's see, just for, you know, craps and giggles. This is an aftermarket S. Oh, they, oh my goodness, look, it's an F-Deuce B3. That doesn't stay on there whatsoever, though, but pretty cool that you can, uh, maybe you could rig that up somehow. But for now, we'll just put the other one back on there. That's the F-Deuce. Really good build quality. Kind of impressive so far. All right, so currently I'm recording in USB mode. You heard the Samson Q2U before that during the narration video. Uh, warning, the USB mode and the XLR mode are drastically different on this microphone. So basically you kind of get two different mics in this thing because the interface inside is really coloring the audio big time. It's dark, it's bassy, it's different. Uh, the XLR different story. All right, so now you're hearing the microphone XLR mode drastically different than USB mode and this is what you get with the XLR mode. So you want dark, do you want not dark? You're going to get a flavor of both with this microphone and yes, you can record the XLR and the USB at the same time. Let me reiterate after the unboxing video, the build quality is excellent here, the yoke mount is excellent here. Everything about the mic quality wise, if you're thinking about buying it for 69 bucks, especially is quite impressive in my opinion, especially considering you kind of got two different microphones here because the sound is so drastic. Some people may see that as a, as a bad thing, but as someone who likes to use XLR primarily and USB is kind of like a nice to have, I kind of like the fact that it sounds different depending on which way you use it. So yeah. You're hearing the XLR mode now. 
and uh, you know, now we're back to USB mode. So let's throw some uh, plosives and stuff into this. And since the sound is so different, let's do it both ways real quick. So here we go. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. And when you get right on top of the F deuce microphone, I'm sure this is super bassy. This is what it sounds like when you're directly on top of the F deuce microphone. Now let's go ahead and do off axis 90 degrees on the microphone. 180 degrees with some handling noise on the microphone. And then we're going to spin it back around to the other side because 90 degrees and 90 degrees is just the same thing, right? Should be, kind of, sort of. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing in XLR mode. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. 90 degrees on the microphone. 180 degrees on the microphone. Back around to the front of the microphone. So there you go. With all those tests in XLR mode, we're going to go ahead and, uh, oh, wait. Did I get right on top of the microphone? This is XLR mode, right on top of the microphone. Maybe I did that. Maybe I didn't. We'll be safe and do it anyways. Let's go back to USB mode. All right, back in USB mode. And I I got to say, the fact that it's two different mics in one doesn't bother me a bit. I think the price is outstanding. You get an XLR cable, you get a USB A to C. I don't particularly dislike either mode, XLR or USB. USB very dark. I'd brighten that up a little bit, at least some with a, a low cut filter or something because it is super, super dark. But uh, XLR mode, I would probably adjust a little bit too because it's lacking all of that low end. Not all of it. It still sounds pretty good, actually. It's funny how I can just throw on some headphones and hear a different sound. But I like both modes. There's, there's just a lot to like here for 69 bucks. And this goes to show that these products are just getting cheaper and cheaper. While inflation is happening, you're getting copies. Yes, it's an MV7 sort of copy, um, but you're getting so many options that are a lot less money on the market. And I think for $69, this thing is absolutely cool as hell. F Deuce, I appreciate you sending this over. It's awesome, in my opinion. I love the buttons. The buttons are high quality. They have a nice tactile push whenever you press them. The mount is fantastic. I mean, there's just there's a lot to like here on the F-Deuce microphone. The accessories are solid. It's really hard to complain for $69 on this one. I think it is absolutely just cool. And I didn't even like the MV7, probably because it's 200 and some bucks. And I was just like, I didn't want this for 200 But for $69? Kind of do. Kind of do. Never heard of F Deuce in my life, but now that I have, my eyes are going to be open. I'm going to be looking out for him. Very curious to see what they do next. But uh, yeah, thanks F Deuce for sending this one over. I think a lot of folks out there could probably use something like this in their mic locker. I just about knocked everything off my desk. But uh, yeah, link down below if you want to grab it. Thanks for watching another one from your boy Bark. I'm going to get out of here. The F Deuce. I highly recommend it, actually. Just, how can you not? 69 bucks, man. This is a lot for 69 bucks. Scare Mikes, peace out.